perception of some, particularly <coughs> U.S. media, is that the nominee for the Republican Party is going to be determined based upon who has the highest name ID today, who has the greatest amount of money, and who has held high political office in the past. That's the media paradigm. The American people are saying just the opposite. The American people are resonating with the only person who does not have extremely high name ID, although it is growing. Uh, about eight weeks ago, my name ID was 21%, according to Gallup. Today, my name ID is about 48%. And amongst the quote unquote citizens Tea Party group that some are trying to demagogue, amongst the activists, it's now up to 64%. Um, and so, the fact that I do not have that high name ID, but it is growing. Um, secondly, I do not have a kajillion dollars like some people think you have to have to get elected. And thirdly, whenever I announce and go through these three dynamics in front of people, uh, I get a spontaneous applause when I say I have never held a high public office. I get a spontaneous applause every time. So the model that the media is trying to promote isn't the model that the American people are responding to. That's what gives me and my team encouragement. One other encouragement, Gallup also uh, has another poll that they do on a regular basis called positive intensity. And it is a measure of uh, how positive prospective voters feel about each of the candidates. And in the last 13 weeks, I have had the highest positive intensity score of all of the candidates consistently. 12 out of 13 have had the highest positive intensity score. Uh, in layman's terms, they like me. <laughs> and the other thing that we have learned about uh, people who support Herman Cain for president they don't defect. And so when I was asked, how did I feel about Rick Perry coming into the race and all of the oxygen that he was sucking up, didn't phase us. Just one more politician to beat is basically how we viewed it. 